I've not done a book haul in a while, even though I've been getting books, but it was like, I think I just figured I wanted them to be a significant number before I share. Some of this I got as gifts. Thank you. Thank Actually, a lot of this I got as gifts. A lot of this I got as gifts. Some of these are my book of the month pick. And one of this I won in a giveaway, which is actually this one right here. The Girl from the Well by Rin Chupeko. This is clearly, you can see, it's a horror novel. It's a horror novel by Rin Chupeko, who I absolutely adore. I love their writing. And I've been looking forward to reading this ever since I heard about this, because this is basically a haunting, right? So you have this young girl who has been haunting evildoers ever since she died through an years prior and she has shown absolutely no mercy to those that would cause harm to children she's very specific with exactly who she kills um, and she's shown from no remorse for them until she made 17 year old talk why is talk different what happens with talk what is it that would make her hesitate over killing talk these are the questions i have and these are the questions that will be answered when i finally get around to reading the girl from the well by rin Chupeko. look at it it says i am where the dead children go like just chills and this image just gives me the ring vibe so i can't wait to read this next up is the killing moon the killing moon by nk jemison this is the first book in her dream blood duology and this was sent to me by the amazing teresa m teresa thank you thank you so your generosity oh my god like mm, you know how much i'm loving nk jamison you know i'm just like reading nk jamison's book and you were so kind and generous and gracious and I have another N.K. Jemisin book, y'all. My N.K. Jemisin collection is growing. It is, oh my God, and I cannot wait to read this. So yes, this is the first book in the Dreamblood duology. We follow a character. So basically, I think in this story, our lead character operates along this elite group of people whose job it is to like, you know, go into people's dreams and are extracted to soothe and heal. And of course they judge those that are, they are those that they find corrupt because your dreams do reveal so much about your subconscious. But when it is that there's a conspiracy and it seems like somebody is hunting others, both in the dreams and outside of it, it's up to him to actually protect the woman he was sent to kill, right? Because of her dreams and also keep the city from dissolving into chaos and the war and the country from going into war i am very intrigued so far i've read the city we became which is the first book in our great city series and i've started our broken a broken earth trilogy i'm currently about to finish the second book which is the obelisk gate and i just know that nk jemison is one of my absolute favorite writers and i cannot wait to read this so thank you thank you so much for your generosity teresa thank you still speaking on teresa's generosity i also got Black Sun by Rebecca Rowan Horse. This was also sent to me by Teresa. And Teresa, thank you. Ah, you all know how much I have been anticipating this. I could not wait to read this. Black Sun. We. It's all about this. You know, the end of the world, right? The um, an eclipse is going to bring about the end of the world. And we have our lead character who is on a ship on her way to back home to the city where she does not know that oh something cataclysmic is about to happen and the world is about to end. What she is concerned about is the lone passenger she has in her ship the one that like looks a bit harmless and doesn't say much but she is very aware that it is the ones that are really really quiet like that they are the villains like they they hold very deadly secrets and all of this is like you know set is inspired by pre-columbian civilizations i i can't wait to read it but look at that Isn't this cover gorgeous? Like, look at that cover. Isn't that cover go? Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't she lovely? I also was sent this amazing book. It's The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. This was sent to me by Darcy. Darcy, thank you. Like, thank you so much. I I'm crying because let, let me give you her history of myself and this book, right? So you all know last year, my very good friend and Jerry over at Onyx Pages created, um, made silent reading a thing on BookTube whereby we come together to read silently together. And she created quarantine pages, which was made up of booktubers. And we all had different allocated slots and times where we all read silently for an hour, two hours. We talked about it. It was a way to just hold on to our, uh, a bit of humanity 
and community in the face of the isolation that was the pandemic and, and Jerry thank you for creating such like so, having such a brilliant idea and making it a reality and thank you for making like and inviting me to be a part of it so um part of the later part of quarantine pages we had interviews and i definitely remember alicia dow was brought on for an interview and just hearing what she had to say about the inspiration for this book just brought me to tears and made me want to read it because this book is a love story is a love story between a human and an alien in a in a new New York post alien invasion where any expressions any expressions of emotions or anything that can induce emotion is considered a tab taboo and is a basis for death and so therefore books music art are banned but you have a girl who has a secret library and who also loves music and who is actively breaking this but when one of her books goes missing she's terrified because she knows that it means she will soon die but her library falls into the hands of this alien who falls in love with this music and partners up with Ellie, our lead characters, and you have the two of them, you know, falling in love with each other even as much as they love art and music and books and they race to save the world. And it's just the layers of that story gripped me. And now I have a copy of it in my own hands because when I wanted to buy it after the interview, this book was out of stock. Like everybody loved it so much. They had but every single one of them like oh my god and i was like okay i'm going to just add it to my wish list and i'll get it later and it just arrived like a blessing that i did not expect so thank you so much darcy for your generosity i'm so grateful thank you i also cannot wait to read no be a real one by ellen mckinney and robin smith this was also a gift because i know this was on my wish list this was also a gift but i don't know who sent this to me so because it did not come with a note or anything so if you're the one that sent it to me I'm certain you probably wrote a note but like sometimes Amazon has this thing missing like in transit so um, if you had one that sent this to me thank you so much I love it Nubia is one of my favorite Amazons and this is like a reimagining of a story YA, YA style because Ella McKinney is a YA author and Nubia in this is just trying to exist in a world that does not think that she should be present in it they believe that they already have Wonder Woman they see her this black girl this dark skinned black girl who is super strong they see her as a a threat and so um, even though she wants to help they are always cutting her off at every corner and every turn but when it is that her best friend is in danger she's going to do everything and risk everything to bring her to keep her safe and I, I want the minute I found out about this I was like I want to read this and now I have it and I don't know who sent this to me but if you're the one that sent this to me and you're watching this video thank you thank you you do not know how much this means to me god I love this book I cannot wait to read this book said it once or twice on my channel but i don't think i say it's with enough frequency as i should so you all might not know this but your girl is a gamer i've been a gamer since i was like what nine years old yeah since i was like eight nine years old i've loved games and um i've been playing them i got the my mom bought me the old stega like you no jokes like i i have been a gamer and um i actually did enjoy the artistry of horizon zero dawn um so imagine my joy my absolute joy when Bianca, who is one of my patrons and absolutely amazing, uh, was like, oh, Nori, I want to send you stuff. And then she sent me some merch, some PS4 merch, because your girl is a gamer. Um, and she also sent me this. Look at this. It's Horizon Zero Dawn, the Sunhawk. And like, look at that. It's an Horizon Zero Dawn inspired comic. And look at the art. Look at the art. Oh, I, I cannot wait to read this. I, like, I'm just, ah! I have not, I, I, I did not read the back because I don't want to be spoiled. I'm just like, it takes place in the world of Horizon Zero Dawn. That's all I needed to know. So thank you so much, Bianca. I cannot wait to read this. Still speaking of things I got, but this is not a book. This was on my wish list, but this is not a book, but this is something I'm really excited about and I want to say thank you and show you all. Um, this, this is the Lisa Sterl, Sterly uh, Modern Witch Tarot deck. I'm just getting into tarot and I'm studying the practice. And I was just like, this would be a great deck to start off with. I also have my fairy loot. That's also why I've been religiously collecting the fairy loot book ones because I, I I am interested and this 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 arrived from Effie Effie got me this from my wish list and I'm just like oh, 
it is so pretty it is so pretty you all like you're like look at this look at this it is so pretty look at look at that look at that look at look at that look at them look at them like oh i just i don't want to pull too much because i don't want to like really pull it out but it is the art on it is just it's gorgeous and it comes with this little booklet for you to really understand the cards i'm just i'm really excited thank you so much effie I, like you are going to be a part a crucial part of my journey and i hope that like i hope i'm i'm able to convey just how thankful and grateful i am for your gifts and your generosity thank you thank you so much i also got this yes so i got aradne by jennifer saint uh it's a sister lover trader hero i just you all know how much i love greek mythology i also love i collect as religiously as i can every version of um retellings and reiterations they are out there that's the reason why madeline miller is one of my favorite writers because of just how well she understands the myth and tells this amazing stories fleshing out this character's backstories and is also why so far i'm enjoying the heroes of olympus series um and so here we have aradne by jennifer saints which follows aradne for those that do not know ariadne was the princess of crete her brother was the minotaur and um theseus came and killed the minotaur and with the help and aid of aradne who does give him some secrets in how to survive because she falls in love with him and this adaptation is to explore that explore the betrayal and also if like um and also whether or not she does get a happy ending following that fact and also what happens to her sister phaedra who she leaves behind i just this uh, is following <sighs> This is following Ariadne, y'all. Like, I just, I also, the minute I saw this, I was just like, I want, I want, I want. And I got it. I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. I also got Sky Falling by Mia McKinsey. And in this, we follow the title of character Sky, who, when she was 26, um, froze her eggs and sold them because she needed money. And ever since, she's just been living her life. You know, she lives out of suitcases. She tries not to get, like, have any emotional connection or attachment with others she's always on the go and things are going well for her until all of a sudden this 12 year old girl shows up and she's like yo hi ma remember those eggs you sold yeah like i'm mm, i'm one of your babies and this causes everything like her life to change completely life comes screeching to a halt as she tries to build a relationship with this daughter she never knew was she never knew existed as she's dealing with that and trying to bond and trying to put down roots she's like getting kind advice from her mom and she's like what is happening and her brother is reaching out to her for help and she's like what is happening and the girl the woman she was flirting with she discovers is the mother of her egg of her egg the girl that shows up as one of her eggs and she's like what is happening and i just i just i i live for the bewilderment that would be her life and the way everything changes and that was why i picked this for my pick for book of the month and i cannot wait to read it and finally i also bought this this is the complete faraway tree collection by Imi blighton we have the enchanted wood the magic faraway tree the folk of the faraway tree and the last book which is of the faraway tree now when it was that i was a child the magic faraway tree was my life i absolutely adored it um this was one of my absolute favorite of in the blighton series a magical series this is my favorite of a magical series and then you know i would pick if i was to, if i was to say my favorite of a magical series it would be this if i was to say my favorite of her um school series i think it will be the saint Clair series not mallory towers not not Year's girl definitely saint Clair series if i was to say my favorite of her um adventure mysteries definitely famous five follows closely by secret seven um and then if i was to say my favorite of her fan series it would definitely be the children of cherry tree farm so like i said i i read a lot of any blightons growing up um and i loved the magical faraway tree series and when i saw this i was like oh i want to see if it still has the magic i felt and experienced when i was a child so i bought it i think i still have the original of the folk of the fiery tree at home in my family home where i grew up when i go back home i would check to see if i have it and if i do i'll probably show it in one of my videos when i'm doing a reread of this but yeah so in enchant this basically follows three children they relocate to the woods with their family and as they are wandering one day they spot this tree and at the top of this tree is ever-changing world so there are different worlds that worlds that come to the top of the tree and they 
go up the tree and they always they have adventures and they um get become really good friends with the inhabitants of the tree you have silky the fairy you have Moonface, you have saucepan man you have dame wash a lot like this are iconic characters i grew up reading when i was a child and yeah so i bought this as well so that is my book haul let me know if any of these books are books that you might be interested in reading let me know if you ever read the magic fire tree as a child just drop it in the comments your girl is curious and interested well yeah that is the end of this video if you enjoyed it as always do not forget to give me a thumbs up check out my other videos subscribe if you want to and if you do decide to subscribe do not forget to click on that notification bell i make new videos twice a week sometimes Sometimes once a week depending on how my week is going well yeah that would be it as always please stay passionate stay nerdy love yourself bye